The evidence that the pandemic has made the spiritual wounds can be seen, for instance, in the increased diagnosis of depression and in the number of suicides. seekers. For all those who are joining me for the first time, you can call me either Javi or Dr. Rubio. I prefer just Javi. I am PhD in Cellular and Molecular Biology, scientist by profession and believer by conviction. And also convinced that science and faith are branches of the same tree and both seek the truth behind the things, visible and invisible. When we scientists want to seek answers to questions, we postulate hypotheses and design experiments applying the scientific method. Here, I want to make hypotheses applying the scientific method to questions that most of us have. Our own life is the best lab where we can test our hypotheses and get evidence to convince ourselves of what we believe in how to make an appointment with the best specialist for spiritual wounds. Well, I'm keeping that promise and I will talk more about it in the next episode. Here in this episode, I want to highlight some fundamental attributes like the CV or resume of this special spiritual doctor, this spiritual healer that is called Jesus of Nazareth and was born 2,000 years ago. Regarding the skills of Jesus as healer, I want to talk about a topic that has been increasingly worrying young people, even kids, during the last year and a half. The effect of the pandemic has been seen not only in the number of the death, deaths because of COVID infection, but also in mental health concerns. Humans are social beings and being in isolation without seeing or touching our loved ones has been hard and has left a kind of wound in us. The most sensitive are the children and adolescents. Some of them have hidden their anxiety behind the attractive video games, social media and the wide variety of images and videos that the internet give us, not always good. You can get almost everything you want, but all virtual. Virtual friends were probably the only friends that they had during 2020. You can have hundreds of virtual friends in Facebook, Instagram, but your spiritual side needs real and touchable friends that you can see face to face, smile, share a meal, cry, Play, dance. The evidence that the pandemic has made spiritual wounds can be seen, for instance, in the increased diagnosis of depression and in the number of suicides. Suicide is a major public health concern. Suicide is among the leading causes of death in the United States. Based on recent mortality data, suicide in some population is on the rise. Suicide was the second leading cause of death among individuals between the ages of 10 and 34, and the fourth leading cause of death among individuals between the ages of 35 
and 44. There were nearly two and a half times as many suicides in the United States as there were homicides. Wow. And after the pandemic, the pronostic is that there will be a trend to increase. Indeed, among African American children under 12, there is an increased risk of suicide. I want to point it out something. Frequently, what is considered a misbehavior is a mental health issue, especially when we talk about African American youth. However, we all should realize that we are a little blind when we see as a misbehavior what is indeed a symptom of a profound inner spiritual wound. My hypothesis for today is that we need not only professionals such as therapists or psychiatrists to help people with depression and risk of suicide. We need to see with other eyes. We need to learn to see beyond the appearances, the physical world, the virtual world, the social media. And what do you need to learn? From whom? I need to learn from a good teacher. I would love to introduce you the best teacher I have found. A master that has been healing me and teaching me to heal others for more than 20 years daily. I will share with you more in the second part next Sunday. Until then, I want to make you a challenge. I invite you to pay attention in a person that you have the feeling that is struggling with something and is not happy inside. Although the appearances, the social media, the picture in Facebook account tells the world that he or she is happy, it may be your spouse, your kid, your co-worker, your brother or sister, your neighbor. If this week you can see beyond the appearances and figure it out in a conversation what is going on inside him or her, this would be a practical exercise for being a healer assistant. I will reveal how the healer adds in my next video. Until then, you can have a hint by reading and reflecting Luke chapter 5, verse 17 to 26. Take care and receive a big hug.